Today is the first day of auditions. It's kind of similar to normal auditions, just we have deaf and hearing actors that are coming in. And uh, our director, Jack, is deaf, and then me and Remy are hearing. When a deaf person comes in, it'll be very quiet, only, only signing, no talking. Um, and then when there's a hearing person coming in, then Jack will be talking as well, and we'll be okay to talk. How does the, the play work? Because I've never seen a, a play done in sign language. Just deaf actors go up on the stage and sign. And there's hearing actors who go on the stage and they talk. There's voice actors who sit on the front row of the audience. So when they see a deaf actor come sing, they be about the voice of the deaf actor. Okay, so the first thing we're, we're going to have some process and then we can put the registration. Normally, for a play, I have to have a deaf actor and a hearing actor together, and I can see the deaf person signing and understand them with no problem, but when I only have a hearing actor... And you study or work on the weekends? Are you, that I don't are free? know of because I don't have a concept of my schedule as of May when classes are wrapping Some up. people are really frustrating to lip read because their lips do not move in a clear way. If they're mumbling, me, 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 or if they're talking fast, blah, 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 I can't possibly keep up, so at that point, I have to depend on other hearing people beside me to repeat what they're saying and fill me in. Let you know as soon as I have <laughs> I grew up in a hearing family, and I was the only one who's deaf, so communication was a constant struggle growing up. It's always been a part of my life, and so now I'm used to that. Are you sure this girl makes you happy? Yeah, she makes me happy. Maybe you were hallucinating because you were drowning. Maybe you were hallucinating because you were drowning. Maybe you were hallucinating because you were drowning. So maybe this dream of... is a him that she's the one. I think she's a better Ariel. I feel she's more... She's sweeter. There's a softness. Soft, soft, yeah, soft, soft, yeah. Softness, yeah. We're all here to kind of support Jack. We can give him more information about those hearing actors that are speaking by listening to their voice and picking out qualities of it. So Ella, her voice, it's more powerful. It's stronger. We're just pretty much going to be his ears today so that his vision can kind of come together. And you try your best to, like, yes. go at the same time, synchronize. Okay. Did I say that right? Yes. Synchronize. I disagree. I see rules as limits. And these are based on your perceptions. The king's downfall will be my plan for vengeance. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> Sorry, that was just... If you know your mother, uh, she said a myth for some water. Anyway, I come from a place called Atlanta, Francisco. Yes. My name is Kim Chan. I'm hard of hearing. I really like the concept that they were trying to bridge the gap between the deaf world and the hearing world. So I'm kind of like that gap that they're trying to bridge. So when I heard about these auditions, I decided, why not? So my first choice would be the voiceovers for Ursula and Ariel. Okay, so now we're going to the audition. I have a fire story, and I'm happy to make a deal with you. Look at me, his magic. Maybe this way. I am a hideous creature, and I have befriended a squid. Her voice, it started climbing and had inflections, and it got louder, and she started to shout, and she started to shout, and you could, you could feel it. Yes. You could feel it. Whoa. Yeah, it's weird. I felt that, too. Hi. How are you? Good? I'm good. All right, so. Hello. Ça va? My name is Eriko. I'm pretty nervous right now. Just putting it out there. I'm auditioning for Triton. 
Do you need the video? Oh, don't worry, I have it right here. English is not the first language for a lot of uh, deaf people. So for them to read through the entire script or even just the lines in pure English, some of them might find it very difficult. So we decided that it would be much easier for them to watch a video, for them to memorize it. And so you can watch it. If you want, you can watch and sign and then look at me at the same time. If you want, it's up to you. My question is, this sign? That's spell. One more question. What's this sign? Exile. Yeah, it's this movement and that movement. Right, like this. I have a cochlear implant. My way of communicating them the most comfortable way of speaking because I am brought up in the hearing world. Through my teens, I have learned to sign slowly. She's like really slow the way she delivers it. I think that's a good idea, though, if she's a little bit slow. You know, she's, she's supposed to be evil. You owe our community an apology. You owe the people in the community an apology. And, and from, from now, on, now on, don't ever go up to that other world. You understand? You understand? OK, that's it's good. I see him as a very good Triton. I mean, the way he stands up, he's got quite a strong presence. Father says they're really different from us. You're too young to understand. I don't care. I really don't like it. Is that good? Good. I prefer him as Alistair. I want him. I want him. He's the best out of all of them. I've already decided in my heart. Um, there's lots of hearing actors, um, a lot, a lot for some of the parts, um, but the deaf actors, we don't have a whole lot, and yeah, we don't have an early yet, so it's a bit of a challenge. Part of the problem might be the English. The world has many different sign languages in the same way that it has many spoken languages. Montreal, we have two sign languages, American Sign Language, ASL, and Quebec Sign Language, LSQ. I'm an ASL user and the English ASL community is so small in the province of Quebec. It's a French LSQ community. So it takes a lot to encourage them to be involved. It's really hard. Are you coming? She said, no, I'm too tired. I can't believe she would just cancel like that. It's better to know that now. I mean, for me, if somebody says they're tired, it just means they're not interested enough. Right, right. Yeah. It's Ariel. Like, it's, it's the one from everyone likes Ariel. I'm so confused. It's day four of auditions, and we don't have anyone auditioning for Ariel, so it's a bit of a conundrum, I suppose. It's the lead character. It's important for a deaf woman to be cast for this role, and no one, nobody has responded. Are they not interested? Do they not like to act? Do they not know about it? Like, no, are they just flaky? Like, what's the deal? Sometimes they feel like, ugh, it's a hearing theater group. No way. If it's a deaf and hearing group, maybe, but still, nah. Hearing people tend to oppress deaf people. Maybe. Maybe that's just what they're expecting. Some people are okay with hearing and deaf people. We view each other as equals. Others still feel like deaf people are being screwed over by the hearing world. So at some point they're like, skip it, screw you. Ugh, I'm frustrated. So right now we don't need Ariel, so I'm a bit panicked. All right, Jack, okay? If anyone, anyone if, if anyone could do it, it's you, okay? <laughs> well, then I'll put on a wig and I'll be Ariel. <laughs> so the search continues. <laughs> Yesterday we started our first rehearsal. Well, that's a lot of work. What's the sign? <laughs> there is always segregation. There are always 
the deaf people on one side and the hearing people on one side. Very interesting for me to guess as to how we're going to facilitate all groups. At this point in time, I'm not 100% sure. 